It seems that Kourtney Kardashian's latest relationship with Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker has been the talk of the town, and if you didn't already know, the two have long been neighbors in the upscale gated community of the Oaks. Courtney has called her current Calabasas mansion home for a while now, and after the amazing customization she made to the place, I can see why. She's always had a passion for interior design, and her family home is made to perfection. We'll check out the details of her mansion in the Oaks, her former spot, and more. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Courtney Kardashian is a media personality, socialite, reality TV star, and more who is the eldest sibling in the famous Kardashian-Jenner clan. In 2007, she and the fam began starring in their show Keeping Up With The Kardashians that even led to spin-offs for Kourtney, such as Kourtney and Kim Take New York. Kourtney is also involved in retail and fashion businesses, launching clothing collections and perfumes, as well as her own website, Poosh. When she's not busy working, Kourtney is a mom of three and has even had an epic playhouse constructed on her property for her kids, which we'll also look at today. She wanted this to be a tech-free place for them to play and read, adding some books that she and her sister Kim liked when they were kids. Courtney also has a serious love for interior design, and I said if she wasn't famous, she would have pursued that as a career instead. So it's no wonder that her luxurious mansion was designed with every detail in mind, from the beautiful gardens to the rooms inside. While Courtney has a massive net worth of $35 million or more and can afford to buy up as many properties as she'd like, she hasn't moved around much at all compared to some of her sisters. She's lived in her Calabasas mansion since back in 2014. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. We reported on Kourtney Kardashian's mansion some time ago, but it was in need of a refresh. Today we're checking out a couple of the eldest Kardashian sisters properties with some major updates. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about their fashion or purchases, like her sister Kim's crazy engagement ring from Kanye? We recently started another channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be sure to subscribe. Most recently, in what seems to be a Valentine's Day weekend gift to herself, Summer has yet another big car to add to her driveway. While it may seem more practical, her new designer SUV was far from cheap. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back when Courtney and Scott Disick were still a thing, in 2014 they sold the home they lived in and decorated boldly for over $2.9 million. Also located in Calabasas, where Courtney still lives to this day, the former couple paid $1.7 million for the 5,199 square foot home four years prior. Court and interior designer Jeff Andrews spent months and months decorating the home in a unique style, which Scott described as Alice in Wonderland meets Beetlejuice. And folks, I can totally see it. The buyer of the home was was super into it and paid an additional 125k for select furnishings and decor in the place. The colonial style home may have looked unassuming from the outside, but moving indoors you are greeted with features like black and white striped ceilings, artsy chandeliers and fixtures, and even the odd statue. They transformed the dining room into piano room that Courtney spoke about saying, The piano was in my parents house since I was born and my mom gave it to me. The black and white chairs were also in my house as a child and I had them redone. The hot pink chaise was closed she didn't want it. I said to her, I'm gonna redo this and you're going to regret it. And she does. The bright furniture and statement pieces seem to be a theme in this home, even in spaces like the entryway and the staircase. There was also a dark office with pops of rainbow, which was said to be Scott's space to work. One of Courtney's fave rooms at the time was the family room, where they all hung out and watched movies together. I think my fave feature was outside though, and it was the large pool surrounded with round spaceship looking loungers. It overlooked amazing views of the hills, and looked like the perfect spot to unwind. However, the same year Courtney and Scott sold this home, they bought the spot Courtney still lives in to this day, an estate that used to belong to retired NFL star Keyshawn Johnson just down the street, which would serve as her next big home project. Courtney and her ex Scott snagged this Calabasas mansion for just over $8.4 million after Keyshawn Johnson had issues with then neighbor Justin Bieber. They had a publicized feud after Justin was caught speeding in his Ferrari through the residential neighborhood while kids were playing in the the streets. Either way, he moved on from there too, and funny enough, Court's sister Chloe bought the B 
Habib's home at the time. Located in the Oaks, a posh gated community, Courtney found everything she wanted in a family home. She said after moving from their former place that she needed more room for her growing family, and she got her wish as this mansion spans nearly 12,000 square feet on 1.86 acres of land. The custom home boasts both views and celeb style privacy with six beds and nine baths. The mansion was already spectacular, but you know with Courtney's flair for design, she had to completely reinvent the place. She appointed their family favorite designer, Martin Lawrence Bullard, who's worked on a handful of Kardashian Jenner abodes to make the house a home. Courtney had a focus on her three kids when designing and wanted to make the place sophisticated yet family friendly. Walking in the mansion, there's an impressive two level light filled foyer with walls of windows, and the formal living room is fitted with black and white furniture, her piano, a fireplace, and a completely modern vibe. The chef's kitchen is fitted with limestone floors, a beamed wooden ceiling, and top of the line appliances like a wolf range and sub zero fridge. Glass fronted cabinets also show off quartz neatly stacked plates, bowls, and mugs. Other features of Courtney's mansion include a games room, spa and sauna, elevator, and home movie theater. During the ongoing pandemic, Courtney showed off her master suite in an Instagram post, which featured her king size bed, a fluffy white rug, and a coffee table full of books. She's also shown fans one of the guest rooms in her home, which she wanted to give a hotel vibe for visitors, adding fresh robes, towels, blankets, and bottles of water. The grounds of her massive estate include covered patios with an outdoor fireplace, a basketball court, and of course a beautiful pool and spa. The reality star even hosted an outdoor sleepover and movie screening in the garden of her home last summer, where she set up a huge projection screen and comfy spaces on the rolling lawn for her whole family to hang out. Elsewhere, Courtney's property boasts everything from fruit trees to a barbecue area and an additional cabana. And we can't forget this amazing features she added. There are definite perks to being one of Courtney's kids, like the fact that you get a custom playhouse nicer than most adult homes. The luxurious mini mansion is situated on the grounds of Courtney's home, and it's more modern than the main residence, but still cozy. Inside there are clean lines, large windows, and even air conditioning. The cream colored furnishings include a modern couch which came from Auntie Kim K, who had it custom made, and the space is built in the style of a lofted nook. There are books, stuffed animals, and features like a rocking horse that were passed down from when Courtney was a child. One of the major catches of the space is that it's technology free, and Courtney explained that while the kids asked for a TV, she refused. She made it a space for them to read books, use their imaginations, and play. I'd say that Courtney's kids are living the dream. So I think that about wraps it up for our updated Courtney Kardashian house tour. We checked out her mansion, The Oaks, as well as some upgrades she's made over the years, and even the former property she used to live in down the street. One thing's for sure, Courtney clearly loves interior design, so I'm sure that even if she stays put at this mansion for many years to come, she'll be updating it with current trends. What about you guys? What was your favorite feature of the L this Kardashian sister's home. Like I said, I love the pool in her former place, but her new mansion has yet another impressive and massive pool. Even that projection screen she set up in her yard is amazing. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, and you can even go ahead and rate Courtney's mansions. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments on there and getting to chat. We'll link you my latest video. Caitlin's basically going to get me playing Fortnite, which I've never played. It's probably going to be super embarrassing. I'm likely behind you though. Someone was shooting from behind. No, oh, you know what? That's all he's gonna kill you now. But that's not even an actual person. It's like a. What is that? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys wanna see next. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!